Mar Zerdia, Math Strength Conditioning, Omniscient Academics. I want to make a video today about stress. I've made lots of videos and posts about stress in the past. And I'm not sure if very many people actually see them or understand what that concept is. But stress is pretty common. Stress is, stress is just a part of life, right? Stress is uh, something that um, we all take for granted because we don't really actually understand how stress accumulates in the body. We don't understand how stress accumulates in the mind, um, how it affects our energy. And this is really important to understand because stress is stress. All kinds of things can cause stress. You can be stressed from work, you can be stressed from family life, you can be stressed from too much exercise, you can be stressed from the food that you're eating, from the environment that you're in, you can be stressed from um, pollute. Uh, pollutants, things in the food, water, uh, electromagnetic pollution, electromagnetic frequencies. This is a huge, huge, huge issue that nobody is really aware of, but it is. It's true. Uh, there's a lot of scientific research behind it. There's a lot of effects that it can cause on the body. If we understand what energy is and how the energy, the body is energy, the, the energy, the body communicates inside through neurons, right? in the brain through cells everything is uh it's an electromagnetic organism right and um this uh this uh this is really important to understand because when you think of a thought what is a thought a thought is an energetic substance right it's a it's a form of energy and it and it uh when neurological tissue is activated it creates mind so brain is a neurological tissue organs are neurological tissues even your skin is a neurological tissue and when when um, energy, and when you come in contact with it, with it, right? When it gets activated, so we have senses, and those senses are a form of activation. And they are without our senses, we're actually nothing. We wouldn't be able to perceive a three-dimensional world. If you if you have your eyes closed, you can't see light. You can't see anything around you. That takes away a sense. One of the senses is very important for you to be able to to uh, interact with the environment. And so, these kind of uh, this kind of concept is important to understand because you see we're we are energetic beings and our body is housed is houses energy it houses consciousness we're a vessel of consciousness we're an antenna we receive information and that information um, is is coming at us from all angles in a form of a light uh, uh, ultraviolet light uh, it's coming through you know uh, the presence of another person communication TV media um, interactions with your environment in a your way you're in a car while you're driving all these different things you're in a grocery store these are all the forms of communication your body is taking in um, and receiving information through the environment and so here we are in a situation where we can easily be um, we can easily understand where we're at right now where the world is right now and the amount of stress that's going around because of something that is perceived to be um, uh, to be a threat, right? Our environment is a threat. People are threats. You can't hug somebody freely. You can't come close to someone or try to breathe in the same air close to that person because they're potentially a threat, right? And if this was the case, then even your own, even everybody that you interact with every single day could be a potential threat. Being at home is a threat. It could be a, a, a threatening situation, right? And then this is something that's very, it's very sad because they've taken germ theory, right? And they've, uh, they've basically, um, they have uh, indoctrinated you to, to think that there's these microbes, these invisible particles that are out to get you, that are going to take you down, and they're going to um, have their way with you. And that's simply not, and that's a, that's not the truth. That's that's far from the truth, right? And what this does is this causes fear, and fear is another form of energy. It's an energetic. Um, substance as well right it's a quality of energy that we uh, perceive to um, give us a certain uh, that stimulates the body in a certain way the mind and it creates a limiting emotion an emotion that uh, 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 causes you to draw to protect yourself you're in a fight-or-flight situation right and so um, your parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system is activated and so what, what's what, what's happening here is um, you're you're now in a situation where you or your body's in an environment it creates an environment internally that is saying there's danger right and when you're in constant fight or flight you're actually 
um, using a lot of energy internally, your, your, your stress hormones are elevated and stress causes, stress hormones are catabolic hormones. Um, they're byproducts of, of, of a stress hormone is uh, basically, they're, they're catabolic agents and these guys are the, these things, these molecules, these, these chemicals, they end up uh, breaking down your body. And so we're always breaking down cells. Our cells are constantly dying. Our cells are constantly turning over, right? We die, there's, there's, there's organisms that are breaking down, uh, microorganisms that are breaking down cells. Cells, you know, are, they, they, they have a purpose. They, they live out their purpose and then they die. And then, you know, new cells are born and this is happening at light speed and there's billions of, of cells that are, that are, um, that are dying each and every second that we speak, even as I'm speaking right now. And these cells, that is their job. They come in the, into, into existence. They do their job. They, they're part of a community inside your body, the organism, and they're constantly communicating with each other, passing information through each other, through, like, like I said, electrical currency, right? Um, and through information such as, such as uh, viruses, exosomes, right? Um, apoptotic bodies, these are all, um, these are all information passing organisms between cells and when a cell is in when a cell is uh, in danger when a cell is uh, is um, is in a situation where it, it, it has a certain amount of toxicity built up or there's there's some type of uh, free radical flowing around that's harmful it communicates with other cells and it passes on and relays information to tell another cell hey there's danger here we need to protect ourselves you need to you know you need to um, you need to um, um, become aware of this and so they all work together to create an immune response or to create uh some type of um of a um, of like of um of an organized uh, uh um of an organized um the word i'm looking for is not coming to my mind but it ba they basically organize themselves for the better right to to help you fight off whatever it is that you're trying to get out of your body and usually it's toxicity and how does toxicity accumulate in the body well i've already talked about this earlier today in this video i said how our environment uh, produces toxins like the food the water everything so if you're a person who is constantly under stress through the environment through the people that you're around through your work situation through family then you're you're, you're accumulating a lot of toxicity and this toxicity is dangerous because it becomes when your body is overwhelmed it just creates opportunity right so infection in the body when you get an infection that is an, an infection is basically just a situation where your body is now saying oh i am i am intoxicated and we have to allow a certain type of organism that is present in the body because we constantly are um we are constantly um wow this is amazing look what i just found i've been studying the tree fell over and we got a red belt polypore here these things are beautiful look at that man there's another big one here too these just grew recently they weren't here before it was really good for you um but anyways like a fungus right uh, uh like that's a perfect example right there okay this is a perfect example and of a, a opportunistic organism this fungus okay you want to call it a fungi right they dominate the earth and it took it, it this tree here fell okay this tree fell because it's dead so what's growing on it fungi things are breaking it down that was an opportunity for that fungus to break down that tree Okay? These other trees don't have mushrooms growing on them. They don't have fungi growing on them. Why? Because they're not dead. They're not giving the opportunity for that fungus, for that microorganism to come and do its job and break down that tree and break down and use it as resources to pass on information and to, and to communicate, right? Cross species, right? Give us the information through the ether, through the sun, through the earth. It puts the information together and then we can consume it and we get the benefits and that is energy that's alchemy that's the alchemy of nature that is beautiful and you know what this has been happening for thousands of years millions of years okay and that's just the way life works on this earth and if you want to have a way to create an ongoing um an ongoing well i mean the only creatures on this earth that really want to profit from anything and use and exploit nature, exploit each other, is humans. We are the only organism on this earth that does that. We're pretty, we're pretty, uh, 
uh, we're pretty selfish that way, right? And it's, there's always, we're always looking for an opportunity to survive. And that survival could be at the mercy, it could be at the disposal of other organisms, right? And, you know, and, and if you gotta kick somebody down while you're at it, or you gotta, you know, you gotta take advantage of somebody else and screw somebody out of, a, of an out of a opportunity or take advantage of a certain group of people, um, for their resources then so be it why because it's profit because it's a profitable um it, it's a you you create a, a a product that create that gives you profit but in order to keep yourself alive and sustain and sustain and and and, and um and um and grow as a company as a corporation is to create customers how do you create customers you create customers by providing a product right but if your product if you want your product to be the only product or to be the product that 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 um is the end all be all or is the only thing that could be out there you have to you have to um basically you have to dumb down the public in a way so that they, they think that your, their product is the only product to consume right and then you create fear you create this or you create that and you create a system that supports your product so that you have a constant stream of income for generations to come and this is the situation that we're in as human beings is is, is that you know, we are basically brainwashed since we're kids, since we're babies, our, our parents are brainwashed, generations are brainwashed to certain uh, techniques that basically are what we call society, right? A society, you create a society that, that, that is a revolving door, right? And it's for the purpose of profiteering, right? For the profiteers. And, you know, we have a certain sense of freedom. They give you a certain sense of freedom to think that, you know, that you're an individual who has free will and who can do what you like and be what you want to, what you please, take the courses you want to take, work at where you want to work, and you know you make that seem like it's the perfect place to grow and to be an individual. But that's a, uh, that's that's against that's actually contrary, right? So the reason I'm going so far into that and going away from the natural th way of things is because. We need to see that right now, well, it's over the last, over over 100 years now, we've been dealing with this germ theory, okay, debate whether it's actually a real thing or not. How can an organism come after you and take you down so easily? If that was the case, you'd be, everybody would be dead by now, right? And the only reason why certain people get sick is because they've created, they've given the opportunity for an organism to do its job, to break down. Your body to break down your body in some way or another you get an infection you got cancer you get a tumor you got whatever it is that you got you're giving something an opportunity okay five percent of disease only five percent of disease is a uh, is hereditary or it's 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 a it's a genetic um default right or it's a genetic uh the word i'm looking for is um yeah it's a it's, it's a malfunction right the rest is an epigenetic phenomenon. All other diseases are in the environment, okay? They're in the environment, and it's the environment that creates the disease. And this is very easy to understand, but it's not, because the truth is always hidden in plain sight, but people don't understand it or accept it when it's present in front of you. But they see it, right? They say it's all in your head. What's in your head? Consciousness. The consciousness creates the situation, the state of being. That state of being is making you sick why it's a nocebo effect maybe okay because you know what the symptom is of certain things you create the symptom and here you are you've given you created the outcome in your body for the outcome to occur and you're you're your victim now right but i'm not saying that's always how it occurs there's a lot of unconscious habits that we have as human beings because of you know because our attention is placed in other places and we forget about placing the attention internally where the needs to be for things to happen for you to be in tune with yourself for me, being somebody who's practiced uh, a holistic lifestyle for over seven years now, eight years, really truly honing in on my body, I've been able to do so much. I've been able to compete at a professional level. I've been able to just keep myself so healthy because I'm well in tune with myself. And it's, it's just lifestyle now. And it's very hard for people to accumulate that in a very short period of time. And that's the challenge that I have when I train clients and when I train people or when I coach people to become healthier. They really expect something to come like this. And it's very, very, it's really, really hard to keep somebody motivated because people get discouraged so fast in this fast paced society where everything is instantaneous and everything is promised for a quick 
fix it pill that you can just get at a doctor you can get at a I don't know some 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 company that promises you results in 30 days or something like that right and so guys like me have to truly really work hard to um, to um, to program to rerun the program right to unindoctrinate the mind which is really the body okay and to run a new software through it and teach it new things but those teachings and those those new neurological connections that you make okay have to be recircuit you have to create a circuit a new circuit a new path these pathways have to um, are have to be made in order for you to create a new a new habit a new discipline and a new way of seeing the world right once your brain has been once you um, the, there's a law of facilitation where your body neurons end up just using the same the same pathways over and over and over because that's through your habits right so, so if you go all your life believing doing something the way or not even believing but just doing something a certain way your body believes it to be the way the only way and then you're stuck you become victim to a program and that program runs your body now and no matter how hard you try even if it's you try to tell yourself today I'm gonna do this well your body says no I don't want to do that I want to do this because it's used to it so it's it's creating a certain internal chemistry that is per, that is creating a certain thought to occur or an emotion which creates a certain thought and says ah I want sugar I want to binge on watching something that's making it's gonna make me feel good I want to just sit here and not do nothing I want to just give me something that instantly make me feel good because my body's asking for feel-good hormones or feel-good emotions which are going to be created through some stimulus that I'm gonna consume through my mouth through my eyes right or just be in an environment of and so you know or I'm gonna to listen to something and so or I need somebody to help me or somebody to make me feel better so we're always looking for these external things to make you feel better and those things become your downfall because now again you're teaching your body that this is the way that or your body's you're teaching your body and your body's teaching you it's always simultaneous there's no your head is different than your head like than your body like we're all one we're one organism and the same thing we're one organism with externally too with our environment so when you the moment you start to separate yourself from anything even your own body my hand is different than my head no my consciousness is in my hand that's why I'm I'm doing this at light speed you see that like I don't have to send a signal and wait for my hand to create what I want it to do no I'm actually at lights it's happening at light speed and that's consciousness consciousness is working so fast and it's and there's so many things happening inside your body your body is miraculous your body is so beautiful it's it's so it's constructed so well it's got so much intelligence there's so much there's so much there's so much mystery in it but it's just happening and you and you just you just wake up in the morning and you're just stressed because I don't know you just I don't know you can't lose five pounds or because you can't have the latest whatever it is you want to go go buy at the mall because of social distancing or something or you can't travel to a certain country like you know you're worried about all these things yes it sucks that our world is locked down because of what it because all this because of a fucking stupid virus that's that's not even doesn't even fucking exist okay it doesn't there's no scientific proof that this virus exists there's no papers out there that that let that, that um that can provide facts that this thing is transmittable from one person to another or that it causes a certain certain symptoms okay and I can provide that I have all that information okay you just got to look and you'll find how how far do you want to go down the rabbit hole that's the question and that's where we are in reality everybody wants to everybody wants to just live a nice life and not have to worry not have to stress but you have to do some work and you have to worry a little bit and you have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to take initiative to make to do something for yourself and for your family and for the humanity that involves do you want if you want true peace if you want to really not worry about anything then you have to do the work right now you have to go out there and you have to do the research you have to inform yourself you have to get out of your fucking comfort zone get off the couch get off your phone stop looking at your phone go look at something else go do some research go look into what causes viruses what is a virus what is bacteria what is germs what are they what is an immune system how how have we evolved to to be able to 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 to, to, so, to not just come out of, of your house and instantly disappear or to, to to just be consumed by all these 
bad guys that are in the air. Like this is all make believe, and that is the truth. Okay, there's a veil, and the psyops is real. Okay, and this this is a this is a this is for for the benefit of certain men on for a small amount of um, of individuals, and um, we're just along for the ride. Marlon Azurdia, Omnisin Academics, Map Strength Conditioning. Till next one.